But as you know, we have to also put our building as a material to the system as well. And what one thing we can do here is to, instead of ground, we can say uh, building or massing as a name. Now for the material, we can say, say it's a, going to be a class building. Or no, like let's go with a go with a stone exterior stone exterior floor exterior floor saying stone cladding or let's go with a cladding material aluminium white cladding okay and we are putting this in and we'll be putting these guys in so we can put the merge component and one two three there are two ways to proceed with this, okay? We can, what we can do is we can grab this, like, geometry, the same geometry, and we can put that in. Or what we can do is we can use, uh, we can deconstruct this sensor grid, and we can grab some information, like sensor points, window groups, if you have any occupancy, any field zoom in, you'll see that, like, spacing, sensor normals, like, a lot of different things, but... We come over here and then say analysis surface we'll grab an analysis surface we can connect that analysis surface to this guy here too okay so that's pretty much it and then we can put the scene layers here and the next thing that we can do if the north is the north offset are we changing the north offset no right if we change it we have to change it here too and we are going to select the weather data of Again, like Madrid, this one, I think, which one is this one, 2021, and samples, we can, we can use the early data, I can show you a couple of things with that as well, uh, we can put the pogo in, but it will take longer, so maybe we don't need to take that, or let's have it as such, so we can pull on a pogo. And we can just run this and when we run this what we are going to see is it's basically running the analysis here but when it's done unfortunately we won't be able to see anything the reason why we don't see anything preview this all off preview this all off maybe right why don't we see anything because it has only one result and unlike ladybug we have to get this like load cs results we have to be loading this csr result from its location now it's saving it to a default location as you see in this on your video screen and if you come over here and then it will ask me read only uh, the file header no so what we see here we see the name of it as we put we see the type, radiation type, metrics, summary metrics, metric values, grids, we will have a grid. And if you browse, if you, sorry, if you zoom in here, you see the date, weather, north, layer name, sky positions, and all these kind of stuff. So how we can see some like colorful results here, that is the... Like that's the important questions. That's the important thing, right? We have to be able to like see the results in colors, and we have to also need to uh, need to have those results and take them, right? And we can do that by going to our lighting data, and we can grab first extract CS sensor grid data, and what it's going to do is going to take the grid and give us some metrics and values once you want to select that metric so for instance total solar exposure and then it will give you the name of it and it will give you the values on each uh, sensor that we are having right and basically like what we are going to also see here if we zoom in oh we don't see anything here that's okay and we see the values so if we grab the like sensor points you see based on this number of sensors we have we will have those values and we can say average to this we can grab the average value of it right 
on the uh, on the sensors that we are seeing and if i come over here again and then if i put preview cs grid sensors and if i put the grid in you see immediately we started to see some results as we do in our like in our uh rhino assignment or rhino exercise with this one so what we see here is the graphic definition of this of obviously we don't see any like um any legends here on the screen and if you come over to the metric we can say direct solar exposure it will change indirect solar exposure high outdoor temperature it will change and if we go to indirect solar exposure you see it goes all purple and that is like that is pretty much it for this video in the next one i'll show you how we can customize this in terms of its view so i'll see you in the next one